afternoon. I know a couple of you asked the other day when I did the vlog about the train set. Um, thought I'd just do a quick video and show you. Got nothing else to do. Don't worry if you're into the cars only. I shan't make a habit of this. It's nothing flashy. It's just a Hornby double O gauge um, that I've made up in the spare bedroom in the house. So have a look at this, don't worry. Cars will be back soon, as soon as we're allowed to go out and about and do stuff. As soon as I get any more news, I'll let you know. Um, there will be some news on the Land Rover early next week. We had a bit of a catastrophe, shall we say. I shall catch you later. Okay, so some of you asked for it. So this is it, what I'm messing around with in lockdown why I haven't got the cars to do. Yes, before you ask, it is on a double bed base in one of the spare rooms. I've just took the mattress off and done it in there purely because it's too cold in the garage to mess about. It's nothing technical. It's a 15 mil piece of ply, six foot by four foot. And all I've done is two very simple independent tracks running the outside one and the inside one. So you can run two lots together and then a small siding to pull stuff in and out of. You can't cross over from one set to the other. I haven't bought anything new and I don't want to. I had a big set once in a shed where I used to live. That was like 15 years ago. I've moved house twice since then and a lot of the stuff's got broken. This is purely just for something to do while I'm stuck in the house on lockdown. So let's show you what I've got. So this was the set that I started off having. Um, it was a recreation of the Blue Pullman from the 60s, which they sort of redid a retro style using two class 47s um, in probably um, 2000s, something like that anyway. Uh, but in the set, you only got uh, one 47 and three coaches. Um, I'll show you that. Unfortunately, this one's broken. It's not broken, it still works, but the tyres on the, uh, the train set itself, the, the locomotive, have perished due to it sitting in the shed for years. So it just sits there spinning its wheels and I don't know how to change the tyres and I don't have any. So unfortunately, this one's a static exhibit. So that is it. Um, should be in a bigger box. I cut the box in half because for storage and all that was this side was just the track pieces anyway, which is what you can see the majority of this is. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, as I say, this locomotive, I can't get it out. Um, yeah, the driving wheels, which are these ones here, where my thumb is, they have two rubber tires, one there and one there. And when I took it out of the box, they just fell off. And as I say, that then sits there wheel spinning, unfortunately. So I can't do anything with that. This set is a Intercity 125 HST, which was uh, done in the Virgin livery in around the 90s, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, there's a wire off the driving motor set on this so this one doesn't move either um, when I unboxed it from storage one of the bogies was hanging off and the wire was snapped off I suppose it'd be an easy fix but as I say this train set really is just something for me to stop being bored um, while the lockdown's on so I could still use the coaches I guess this is the only steam locomotive that I've got uh, it's an A4, same as the Mallard. Uh, I think this one was called Silver King. Again, this one does not work and I've no idea why, um, unfortunately. This one does work, it's a uh, class 25. These were my favorites when I was a young boy, um, hence me getting this one. Lima models were pretty poor though. They were like a cheaper version of Hornby. This is a very jerky, locomotive very noisy but like I say I wasn't really into it in an expensive layout it was just something fun I had in the shed there was never any sort of recreation of anything it was just locos I liked I used to just run them around really this is a diesel multiple unit this does work I just bought this as an addition um, simply because I remember going on these as a kid um, 
no other reason really. It was at a show I went to once and I just picked it up. Got some spare cash at the time. It's not a bad set. This is a Backman Class 47. Um, these ones are a lot more expensive than Hornby ones and you can tell why they're a lot quieter and run better. There is a small fault with this one. I don't know why. Um, again, could be something to do with storage. It runs both ways forwards and backwards, but for some reason will only run if you've got it on the track the right way around, if, if you follow me. I don't know why. Um, there just must be a fault in it somewhere, but uh, yeah, it's a bit annoying. This is another Hornby. This is a Class 58. These were new when I was a young lad. Um, in the area where I used to live, they were very prevalent. That's the only reason really I bought it. As I say, my layout was never anything to follow the rules. It was just trains that I liked and uh, this being one of them. This is a Class 08 or 09 shunter, I guess. It was actually a Thomas the Tank Engine Devious Diesel. It's just got no face on it. So it's just really a bit of a shunter just for messing around with. And now onto the rolling stock itself. There's a few nondescript um, wagons and stuff that really I just mess around with with the shunter. There's also boxes of accessories and stuff, which obviously a lot of it got broken in the moves, unfortunately. Um, I don't know if I'll ever make this into a proper train set, to be fair. But there is a bit if I want to. Right, so if I show you what I've got, the Class 47, which is the dark one, is on the outer track. It's just got a small siding, which it can go on. Um, And then it comes out, out to the main outer track. And unless you fetch it back the other way and change the points, it'll just happily run around that one in either direction. Obviously going back now, it won't go into the points because they're not set. And you'll see the class 58 in the middle. It's got a bit of a longer siding. And now just happily run independently from each other. Class 58 is just running on a couple of coal wagons, sort of, which is what I saw them doing in the 80s really. They'd have about 30 odd of them on the back of them going to the power station at Rugeley where I used to live. And the Class 47 there is just pulling a few mixed Mark 2 and Mark 3 coaches I guess. Um, yeah, you'd still see stuff like that on the main line today on a charter train. They all seem to be completely all different colours. Old stock that's not used very much no more, so... It's not very true to life, but it's just fun, isn't it? And this is the Lima 25. As I said before, these are very jerky and noisy. And this is the Hornby Class 101 multiple unit.